What's up, YouTube? It is Sunday afternoon, it's 2 o'clock right now. Uh, I have to go milk tonight, but before I get to that, I am going to. So, archery season's kind of coming up soon, not really, but prep to archery season, but right now. So, I'm gonna go set up some cameras and shoot my bow a little bit. But before I do all that, I have to go wash my truck because I don't know if you can tell. It is a bit dusty. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I don't know if any of you are really into hunting as much as I am. I don't know if the video will get a lot of views. And then hopefully, come archery season, if I get a deer, I'm gonna bring my camera with me. And hopefully I can get that on camera, if I get a deer. If not, then I won't post a video of that. Then I'll, I'm gonna set up another stand and a blind, so I'll probably take a video of that. See what happens, but. I'm gonna go to the car wash right now. I'm gonna clean this truck up. And go up to my grandfather's farm and set up that game camera. And uh, and I think I don't know if I'm gonna do it next weekend or the weekend after. I'm gonna plant a food plot, so I'll try to set up a time lapse of that. That's the plan for today, and then I'm gonna go milk. So. All right, so got to the spot. Um, this is like uh, just like a dry pasture for our dry cows. Um, some apple trees down in this corner down here, and then on the other side, there's a field you really can't see. And on the far side of that other uh, that field, I have a stand up and uh, another apple tree in that corner. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm gonna do an in woods food plot this year, and uh, down here. I used to hunt on this inside tree line uh, last year and constantly had deer coming out through here out into the field but every time they came out there it was like five minutes after legal shooting time. So I figured if I could get a little further in the woods and catch them before they get there, I'm better off. But... This is the deer trail right here. Comes down this old logging trail. It's grown in a lot. Now. So, unfortunately, there's no there's no good trees to put a tree stand in, in here. So I have to uh, set up a blind, or I might do one of those, like the tower blinds. And as you can see, the deer are definitely... I think I can just hear one. I think I heard one running. Yeah, so the deer are walking around here. I'm going to try to mow this down. And uh, till it up a little bit. And plant this whole area. With clover. Because we can't... Here in Vermont, we can't bait deer. So we have to grow natural plants. So... No corn, but um, they do like clover, so hopefully that will get a little more attention in here. I mean, as you can see, there's already deer in here, so it's not a huge deal, but hopefully we'll make them hang out in here a little longer. They like it when it's in the woods, you know, they feel a little safer, rather than having to go out in the field to get the clover or, you know, whatever's out there, so Let's see how this goes. Um, I have another stand set up back there somewhere a couple hundred yards away on an old logging trail. But I think it's gonna be more of a morning stand. So. I will uh, set this camera up and then go shoot my bow. Or I'm gonna go put a card in my other camera, which is actually over at that other stand that I'll, I'll show you when I get over there. And then I'm gonna shoot my bow for a little while. And uh, yep, I'm gonna milk cows. All right, so I got that camera set up on that tree over there. Looking out to that area. I used to have it on the camera, or I had a couple cameras, and then I think someone took mine, one of them. So, this is what it is. Uh, I didn't really like it anyway, so. I like these wild game innovation cameras, they're actually pretty, for, you know, an inexpensive camera, they actually work pretty good. So. Um, I will... Hmm. 
be wet in here, so I don't know if I should try to drive and drift through here. I'm gonna try. So I'll go uh, put a card in my other camera, show you guys that stand. And then, that's about it. Set up, I'll do a little bit of shooting and show you guys that. Show you my amazing bow. Looks really good, doesn't shoot that good. It looks good, so that's all that really matters. Got the American Best Bow Strings on there, lime green. Pretty freaking mint. No, I didn't, it used to shoot pretty bad. Um, I got it set up at somewhere, like, so I shoot a prime, and anyone that knows those bows knows that they have like parallel cam system, and then the only bows that have that. I got set up somewhere that, with someone that's never set up one of those bows. So, they didn't really know what they were doing, which isn't their fault, I mean. Never. But, they set up right, and uh, so it shot really bad, it was loud. I wasn't really impressed with it. Brought it somewhere, brought it to a prime dealership, or de prime dealer, and then they set it up the right way. It's way better bow now. But I almost switched to, Ma I almost switched to Matthews, because I was so unimpressed, unimpressed. All right, so I'm at the other spot. I didn't walk, I drove, yeah, I drove before. I didn't walk that far. Right, spider webs. So this one's a ladder stand, um, which I won't buy another ladder stand because they're too hard to set up by yourself. And I just don't like them as much because they're, it's fine like a long, like a nice straight tree and not into it. But the stand is right there. And the other camera, just the old logging road, comes down, uh, heads out towards the fields. It ends, well, it circles back and goes back there, fields over that way. But it borders the field, so deer used to come down here all the time. And, uh, yeah, in the field, but right after legal shooting time. I had a couple good sized does in here since I took that card out. I took that card out a couple weeks ago and uh, brought my you know, laptop at home and I'm just getting back at now. But I did have a couple bear, a couple bear, a couple big doe. Uh, no bucks, unfortunately. That's a lot for you. We have bucks in a lot, just they're not usually all that impressive. Got big bodies on them. But. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll wait a couple of weeks. I'll probably come out here and start playing that food plot when I check the when I, next time I check the um, card. And hopefully that goes good. I don't know if it's going to. It's pretty wet and where I just was. Uh, I know Clover grows in quite a bit of spots. They say to plant it in a little bit of like you know moisture, more moist areas, but. We'll see. It's pretty wet in there, so. And we'll plant it in these and see what happens. Hopefully, draw some attention from some... Because everyone else... Yeah, so we, we have quite a few people that hunt this piece of land. There's a dirt road, and then on the other side of the dirt road, my grandfather, it's my grandfather's farm. And pretty much our whole family hunts. So, along that ridge top, there's... There's a deer camp through the woods up there. And uh, all my cousins and uncles and all that. Hunt up on that ridge top and across, down that way. There's another field and then across the road. So, kind of locked down this little, this little area here. So, um, but there's always, everyone gets a buck out of here. At least one or two bucks out of here every year. So hopefully this year's my turn. As far as I know, I'm putting the most work into it, so. And not everyone bow hunts, so. Usually, I get the first go at things on this side of the road anyways. Um, so, that's always nice. All right, I'm gonna shoot my bow a little bit, and go to work.